A viewer asked for this video, and I must admit that I didn't know a whole lot about the guy in question. However, he has been the subject of a controversy in the past few years, and creationists have been waving him around. Thus, I think we should take a look at his case. So let's jump right in. <laughs> The person in question is an electron microscopy technician named Mark Armitage. Armitage got a bachelor's in education from Liberty University, a master's in parasitology from the Institute for Creation Research, and went back to Liberty University for an EDS in science education. Look, Liberty University aside, the Institute for Creation Research isn't an accredited university. Regardless, starting in 2010, Armitage managed the California State University at Northridge Biology Department's Electron and Confocal Microscopy Suite. And in 2012, he went on a digging trip to Cretaceous Strata where he found a Triceratops horn. He later examined the horn under an electron microscope and discovered soft tissue, publishing his results in the 2013 paper, Soft Sheets of Fibrillar Bone from a Fossil of the Supraorbital Horn of the Dinosaur Triceratops Horridus. Now, the discovery of soft tissue in a dinosaur fossil is far from unprecedented. In fact, the very paper that Armitage wrote documenting his discovery admits, quote, Previous studies have reported soft tissues and cell-like microstructures in fossilized dinosaur bones from Tarbosaurus batar, Tyrannosaurus rex, Brachylophosaurus canadensis, and Triceratops horridus, as well as other extinct organisms such as certain marine turtles." Close quote. So yes, Armitage himself points out that this discovery isn't especially new. However, since he's a creationist, he publicized the discovery as being definitive proof that the Earth is only a few thousand years old. Then, Armitage discussed with his students how old he believed the horn to be. Shortly thereafter, a colleague at Northridge allegedly told Armitage, we are not going to tolerate your religion in this department. Two weeks later, Armitage was fired from Northridge. Clearly, religious discrimination shouldn't be tolerated in any job, and neither should a science teacher pushing unscientific dogma on students. Of course, creationist sources covering the developing story claim that Armitage was fired from his position for his discovery and subsequent publication. For example, the Standard Newswire reported in their totally unbiased article, we have evolutionists on the run, says fired creationist Mark Armitage. Quote, After finding soft tissue in a triceratops horn, showing that dinosaurs lived thousands and not millions of years ago, scientist Mark Armitage was fired from California State University. Close quote. Obviously, Armitage was fueling the various creationist sources by saying things like this. Quote, it also tells me that we have the evolutionists on the run. They are scrambling to explain the presence of these delicate and lifelike cells and tissues that could in no way survive the ravages of deep time." Close quote. In reality, something Armitage is barely on speaking terms with, the existence of the soft tissues doesn't add credence to creationism for anyone except, surprise surprise, creationists. As I pointed out in my video, we all have the same data in Genesis Paradise Lost, Creationists ignore the fact that the soft tissue from Tyrannosaurus was incredibly similar to that of modern birds, indicating the theropod bird connection. If creationists were really on the right side of this issue, then why would they ignore such important information? Anyway, Armitage decided to sue Northridge for what he claimed was a wrongful dismissal. As per usual, creationist sources unthinkingly regurgitated whatever Armitage told them, which is why creation.com says, quote, he is currently seeking relief in a legal action for wrongful termination and religious discrimination by the university." Close quote. Clearly this article was written during the lawsuit. So did Northridge fire him for discovering the soft tissue in a dinosaur fossil? Absolutely not. As stated earlier, the dinosaur soft tissue isn't new, and the other discoverers of soft tissue weren't fired for finding it either. And Armitage never said the Triceratops age was thousands of years in his technical paper. Therefore, something else is at play. According to the 2016 article, A Creationist Victory in Inside Higher Ed, quote, the university argued that it acted due to budgetary adjustments and a declining need for Armitage's services. 
He was a part-time temporary employee, it said. But Armitage charged religious discrimination and wrongful termination in his 2014 lawsuit, close quote. Armitage was defended by attorney Alan Reinach, but the case never went to court with Northridge settling for $400,000, which was possibly due to what Armitage's colleagues said to him. So clearly all was not as Armitage made it seem. He claimed to have been fired merely for authoring a paper, while he was actually let go for a combination of budgetary concerns, a lack of need for his job, and probably for spreading misinformation to his students. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.